Bike test. Guess what, Stephanie? Again, I'm chewing gum. <laughs> Frick! <laughs> Can I shut the music up for a brief moment? I cannot listen to it and talk to Travis at the same time. <laughs> ah! Okay. Okay, so. Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I have prepared what is known as bachata. And bachata is such a fun, dynamic, well-known social dances. And I look forward to showing you guys this dynamic, amazing rhythm dance. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before we begin to dance bachata, let's begin with our proper posture for Latin dancing. For Latin dancing, like bachata, we are going to keep our feet in nice V-shape. It's going to be a slight V-shape, so heels are together and toes are slightly apart. Ankles, knees, hips and shoulders are nicely stacked up. Our abs are engaged, chest is open, and shoulders are down. From there, imagine someone is pulling you up straight towards the sky so we feel elevated on the upper body and feeling grounded on the lower body. It's time for us to learn the basic steps of bachata. For your convenience of learning, I'm going to change the view into a mirror view image so it's easier for you to follow along with me. We are going to keep our feet in nice V shape and we're going to begin with our left foot to the side, together, side, gentle tap. From there, we are going to go back to the right, side, together, side, gentle tap. That's it. Let's try one more time. To the left, one, two, three, tap, two, two, three, tap, side, together, side, tap, side, together, side, tap. Very good. It is time for us to talk about the timing and the musicality of bachata. I'm going to count it out as I do the basic step along with you guys so that it's easier for you guys to retain the musicality of bachata. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Now it is time for us to try together to the music. Five, six, seven, eight, one. When it comes to the techniques of bachata, something that comes to my mind is the Cuban motion. How we rotate our hips to add that flair of Latin dancing, as well as the soft knees. So bachata is not so rigid in a sense that we are standing tall and keep our knees straight as we are dancing bachata. So keep your knees somewhat soft and feeling grounded at the same time without losing your posture is going to be one of the keys in bachata. In order for you to add Cuban motion, think of it simple. Just begin to rotate your hip forward, side back, forward, side back as you take each step in order to bring the Cuban flair into your bachata. I highly recommend you guys to watch some of our Latin dance trills such as pendulum and Cuban motion um, so that it's easy for you guys to learn more about how the Cuban motion works in Latin dances and begin to incorporate some of those techniques into your Latin dances as well. Thank you so much guys for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoyed dancing bachata with me and I hope that you'll have so much fun at weddings and social dancing events to try out this amazing fun social dance. If you like our videos, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on our future videos. I look forward to seeing you guys next week with another dance video. Bye!
でしょうか。